Hi everyone, welcome back to the Price Action Volume Trader channel. Today I have a very quick video just with two reasons why I think if you're doing any kind of trader funding company, you know, Top Step, Apex, Earn to Trade, Trade Day, any of those companies, why you should not really be considering paying the reset fees. Now, as you know, all these companies have pretty much the same uh, process. You get a account with a specific size. You have a profit target. Certain days you need to trade in order to pass and a few other rules depending on the company and you have a trailing drawdown or a set static drawdown of some type and if you hit that drawdown or any of those rules then if you fail the account you have what's called a reset which is basically you can pay usually all these companies is between 80 to a hundred dollars and what the reset does is it lets you reset your account whatever the size is back to your starting point back to zero again and you can just start immediately trading once again okay but i think now with the current market conditions as far as all the different companies that are competing in this field i don't think you should waste your time doing it because of reason number one is most of these companies now if you go look at all their rules etc you are going to get a free retest whenever your subscription renews every month so what does that mean well that means if let's say you signed up on uh january 1st and on january uh, 10 you're still going you know your balance is not yet at target so you're still trading and let's say you have a really bad series of days or a very bad day and you hit your drawdown and your account is liquidated well it's january 10th but if you wait until february 1st when your membership renews then your account is going to be reset again and you can keep trading and also remember even if you get liquidated your membership cost is going to entitle you to have the data feed for the whole month as well so you can still practice on your trading platform in the internal simulation mode or you can still you know watch the markets and study and learn and everything okay so that's one option is just waiting for your membership to renew I would verify obviously with whatever company you pick but nowadays most companies are going to offer you a free retest whenever your monthly membership renews so that's reason number one reason number two and this is probably more uh, attractive because you know the problem with reason number one is you have to wait you know potentially you have to wait three weeks or whatever time it is until the renewal with the second one it is just to take advantage of all the big sales and promotions that these companies have going if you look at the landscape now of all these companies there's so much competition that some of them are constantly offering discounts of 50 71 80 even sometimes i've seen 90 percent off sales so you're gonna get a chance to get accounts on a very nice discount so take into let's say just to use as an example for let's say you take um the apex one hundred thousand dollar account you can see that the list value for that account is two hundred and seven dollars a month it's supposed to be like their full their full price for the month but if you catch it on like an 80 percent discount sale then the cost of that is going to be 207 with 80 percent off you're going to be paying 41 dollars and 40 cents okay and this sale sometimes they last 
three days, but sometimes they'll last 15 days or an entire month. So let's say you just pay $41 for the $100,000 account. You start trading and let's say you get liquidated or you, you hit your trailing threshold on day number five, okay? So instead of just going and paying 80 or $100 to reset that whole account just to continue trading, all you have to do is go into your dashboard, cancel that account, and then you can just buy another account or even another size if you want using that same discount code and you're going to get another account for $41 and you can just start trading right away. So you can see how there's no point in paying reset fees if you get a good discount because you can just use the discount and you can get another account for less what it would cost to just pay for a reset. Now, obviously, bigger accounts have bigger costs, so you just got to evaluate that. If you get a sale that costs less than, uh, you know, $90, to $80 to $100, whatever your company is charging, obviously, the way to go is just if you want to trade right away again, cancel the account that you're in use the coupon code and just sign up again and you're good to go so that's pretty much it you know those are the two main reasons why you should not really be paying reset fees in the trader funding accounts that's pretty much it hope you're having a great weekend and i'll see you all soon in the next video take care